This banger from 2014 is called Gintap. You might have heard it in a taxi or blaring from a bar on Kaosan Road. Gintap translates to eat liver in English, but that's not what the song is actually about. The tap 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 part is a not so subtle allusion to the sound that happens during vigorous love making. Gintap is one of the many Thai songs whose lyrics use double meaning to express sexual desires. Here's another one that came out in 2018. So, he's not singing about watermelons, pomelos, or coconuts. He's singing about boobs. Big ones. Women get in on the fun too. This one is called Kanhu, which translates to itchy ear. But it's really about her wanting someone to satisfy the itch in a lower part of her body. Sexual innuendo in Thai songs isn't a recent phenomenon either. Modern Thai folk songs evolved from playing Pun Ban, or songs of the village, that originated centuries ago during the Ayutthaya period. Songwriters would show off their language skills while creatively exploring subjects that would normally be considered taboo. In the early days, playing Pun Ban was just singing over percussion instruments. Here's an example of playing Choi, a subtype of playing Pun Ban. <laughs> The singer is talking about his banana being a little worse for wear after overuse. As it evolved and drew inspiration from Western music, more elaborate instrumentation was added to create the modern sound we know today. Here's an example of an early Thai folk song with a full band playing the music. The lyrics are about ears and flowers, but it's really about sex again. Although Western song lyrics are often sexually explicit, Thai folk songs still maintain the subtlety of playing Pun Ban. Despite Thailand's overt sex work industry, the country has rather conservative values. Around 90% of Thais are Buddhist, and the religion has played a huge role in forming Thai culture. The third Buddhist precept strongly discourages adultery and promiscuity. So speaking openly about one's sexual desires is a major faux pas in Thai society. But as the saying goes, sex sells. If singers can't write directly about their sexual desires, they find a way around it, and that's what makes Thai folk songs so fun to listen to. So. If your girl's watermelons are looking juicy, or if she's feeling an itch in her lower ear, you two should definitely gin top.